Hello again. We have a Tipman Kronos Basic in front of us, and several people have been asking about sites on the new Tipman Kronos and how those work. The short answer is absolutely you can put a site on the Kronos. The gun comes with a weaver rail across the top, so any site that is compatible, dot site, scope, whatever you want, that's compatible with a weaver rail will certainly mount right to the top. It'll even mount to a side weaver rail or the other side weaver rail. So that's a short answer, but let's take a closer look and actually do a site install. Uh, so the first thing is that the Kronos Basic comes with a front and rear sight here that you can use just, uh, just down the barrel uh, siding. Those can come off if you want. Just unscrews. Retainer nut that holds those on the back. Screws come off and then the sights slide off the front and the back. So those can come off. The tactical version of the Kronos comes with a carry handle. Now it it looks kind of realistic and it's got some adjustment points here but they're really not they don't do anything they're just cosmetic uh, so as far as that being an actual site it's not really good for that it's more just cosmetic and a carrying handle that you can hold on to and that just mounts with the uh, thumb screws right onto that weaver rail but today we're gonna put on a real site and this would be an NC star uh, to 1 by 25 uh, just meaning one in that there is no uh, magnification and 25 refers to the size of the lens it's 25 millimeter lens and this is a dot sight so what that does is a uh, laser is projected from this back unit onto the lens and as you look through it you'll see a dot on your target there won't be a, there's not a laser that projects out onto your target it'll just appear that there's a laser or there it'll appear that there's a dot as you look through the site uh, so this is uh, it's a nifty little site uh, it uses red or green dots uh, not sure how well you can see this in the video uh, but it has three different settings we're on red and we go this way and you get a one two or three uh, different levels of brightness on the red and if you keep going it changes to green and then you have one two three levels on the green so you can have a red or a green dot or off as it is now and this will mount to any weaver rail and also to a 3 8 rail like on the top of a, an old A5 or the old model 98s or anything that's got a 3 8 inch dovetail uh, just by reversing these uh, mounting brackets. Right now they're lined up for a weaver rail which is what we're going to put on here. And Again this is a thumb screw set up. This is a, a little little bit tricky to get on sometimes just because as you adjust these the sight itself can come off and you're trying to get these mounting brackets on the rail. There they go. And I'm just doing this quickly so I'm not worried too much right now about where it is uh, on the gun. You can set that to mount wherever you want that's comfortable for you to, to sight on. that one in place and that's basically it uh, the site uses a 2032 uh, coin style battery it can be replaced and that's just right inside here now on a red dot site uh, well, with any site, you want to make sure that you're not going to have any issues 
with uh, interference from your hopper or or any other sights. Uh, in the case of this gun, at least for a gravity fed hopper like this, right there, no problems. You've got a little bit of a little bit of clearance there. Uh, so once you actually sight, don't know if you can see that. There we go. There, when you sight down the down there, you have a clear clear view of your target. Now a red dot sight or dot sight, uh, you don't actually have to have a clear view of your target through the sight. If you keep both eyes open, one will see the target and the other will see the dot and your brain will superimpose the two images together. Go ahead and turn on, see if you can see the laser. There's that dot and that's the green and a red, let's see there. Yeah there. Kind of hard to see in a video like this. Uh, but in the, in the case, so you don't have to have a clear sight of your target through the through the feed or the hopper, but in this case with this sight uh, it is a nice nice fit for this gun. We're able to move it forward so if you're playing and your mask, uh, is, mask or your face is coming fairly close to the gun you still have plenty of room uh, with the sight in front of that. Again, other sites will work. Anything that mounts to a weaver base uh, could also could mount here or along this rail or the other rail. There's also a rail even on the bottom. So if you did decide to do like an undermount laser, uh, you could do that. This just unscrews, and then you could mount the laser down at the bottom there too. So that's it. That's an NC Star 1x25 red and green dot site on the Tipman Chronos Basic.